never get but, your uh, finger at as, Savare, as, Ka Andrew? as Ka was saying, though, I, I can I can totally uh, sympathize with that mindset because like I don't know the number of like NES games that I played through an emulation safe stating just so I can like listen to their entire soundtracks within the mm. context of the game. Yeah. You know, so like people will be very judgmental. Like, oh, yeah, it's like we you used... didn't beat the game. It's like I don't, I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, we... it's like I, I used uh, save states to play through Werewolf: The Last Warrior because the game sucks, but the music fucking slaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, for know? sure. So, I mean, so I think. It's... I think there's meaning in that, right? Like, I do understand the the feelings that people have about, like, wanting to have an easy mode and stuff. And I'm, it's not even coming from a place of, like, design of, like, you didn't beat the game, you cheated yourself. Like, it's not about that. It's like, no, I think the beauty of the game and its design comes from how holistically it's designed. So the doing... The amount of flexibility that the games have. Yes. For, that, that, that's my philosophy with the Souls games. Because, like, someone was recently, just a random person on Twitter is like, oh, I just got Elden Ring, like you know, what's your advice? My quick advice to him is like, oh, you know, like, don't, if you run into something that feels difficult, like, don't feel like you have to do it a million times to perfect the fight. Like, a big source of tension with the games is people saying like, oh, this game's just really hard, so I guess this is how it is. And it's like, no, 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 no. the soul's, like, mindset is like, do not accept the challenge as it's presented to yes, you if you're yes. having a hard time. Like, there's always a way around being, it, yeah. There's always a way around to, uh, like, like, have some, like, uh, you know, conviction in trying to, like, break the game or, like, yeah. you know, just, like, the developers want you to be, like, nah, fuck that. Yeah, like, like fi <laughs> you know? find out where the gaps in the system are and exploit them. That's knowledge is power. Like, that's exactly See, what it is. Uh, and, like, yeah, I, I think... It. There's so much room for that in these games. The like, thing I, that... I love you... saying no to that. I love just being like, no, I am just gonna walk through a wall. What are you gonna <laughs> do about it? And the game's just like, please, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's talk to Vare. I don't think we can actually do anything. I think we already spoke to him earlier. Lambkin, so pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Mm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a oh. inductee, a knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish it's because we. Dynasty. Luminary hmm. Moog has strength, vision, and, of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? This is because we invaded the raptor. Oh. That counts for the invasion. invasion. That's interesting. So we could do I the know. DLC right now if we wanted to. I was wondering Let's if go. the mod just turned <laughs> off the PvP requirement. Anoint me. Hmm. Yeah. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this. Okay, we're gonna do DLC if we can beat Mog. Soak the cloth with a maid. Yeah, it's a bit of a limiting factor. We can do it. Yeah, because we don't have the uh, the curse cleansing item. Maiden, it's true, we don't. Chanting the wisdom of the two fingers, but since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. All right. Uh, that's interesting. So one of the things I wanted to say about Vare is that he mentions that Luminary Moog is like guiding the world with love. The context of this is drastically changed by the DLC. Uh, he mentions the concept of like the, the Sanguine Nobles and the Bloody Fingers like guiding the world through love multiple times. Uh, this is Mikola's love because Mikola was had charmed Moog, which we learned at the very start of the DLC, which is very interesting. So, soak the cloth with the maiden's blood. The blood of anyone's maiden will do. Uh, we can go do this right now, I think. Um, are, are we going to start the DLC? I don't know if we're going to start the DLC, but we may as well turn in the thing and then unlock the super good leveling location that uh, we get yeah. here if we want to. Um, farm, frog, farm. I don't remember where the which of the churches it is but i think it's in northern Kalid. do we want to do this is everyone up for it sure sure okay i'm up for anything i'm going to church of the plague uh it might be north from Kalem ruins i don't remember oh did we want to do latena though we didn't do any of that well yeah well uh, let's huh. um let's do that right after because that's just a cave and we can just okay sure, sure we can just do that after it's fine um i don't remember go to the ruins I was going to say go to Church of the Plague, but Caleb Ru Ruins is probably fine. Yeah, Caleb Ruins is fine. Ka probably knows where this is better than I do. 
<laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, actually, okay. you know what? You know where we can go? We can go to the Church of Anticipation. Someone in my chat just reminded me. We can we can do the Belfries. Well, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So let's go do that and get our maiden's blood. Your own maiden. I normally do it at the Kaled one because I like uh, the fashion. So go to four belfries and then we'll just Oh. We'll meet up. We'll 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 warp there. Yeah, that's the one I usually do. I didn't actually know you could do one in Kaled. Yeah, there's a dead maiden sitting in a church. <laughs> Where are people getting all these maidens? Uh they're a uh Endangered species nowadays. Cod, did you put your key in this one? Where are yes. all these maidens made? Okay, in? then you Maybe. you back away from me, and you can be the second chaperone. Okay. And then we'll have everyone else. We'll go in two groups. So funny. Second chaperone. On my way. This is barely I can comprehensible actually mechanic. examine this one. All right. Oh. Oh, he's floating. Uh -oh. <laughs> who's it? Who's it taking? Who's it taking? Uh, no one. No one? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't get. It took I me. Think we just all examine it on our own now. We just said. Try it. I do see the portal from this time. I yeah, I think it might be fixed. Okay. I think weirdly, if it's How? <laughs> maybe if the game is loaded after the stone after it's been, been added. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Like we got here too How late. Fun. So we late enough in this case. We also unlocked Ronnie, so we can talk to her eventually. Let's do Latena after this. And then I guess we can like end the night eventually whenever we get there when we like by going to the DLC. Or not going to the DLC, but like going to that area, Moog's area. Moging it up. I've never done Moog early. This will be fun. That's my scary. My absolute favorite way of playing Dark Souls is Four Kings first, so there are four kings early, mm -hmm. so th I feel like it will be like that. All right. I soaked. Oh, we all got it. Oh, we all got yeah. it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now. I'm not even close to you right now. Let's go to Folly on the Lake. Folly Ellie Oxen Free. Just north of the Albanaric Village. But yeah. I don't know. And like the thing is that one of the things about like Souls game difficulty versus design is like I actually don't think these games are super difficult. And that's not really why I don't think they need an easy mode. Like I've always been for the fact that like the you you like it would it would not break the game to add a pause like because the game has a yeah. pause functionality in it. Like things like that are like never an issue to me. It's Wait, specific an exhausting level of discourse. Yeah. Oh, I'm, that's I'm that's literally my next video is about pausing in these games. Yeah. I, I I'm ready to throw down and be like. You can you know, pause Elden Ring. Gonna... <laughs> you can people, literally yeah, pause it. The, people, the controversy can... about pausing Elden Ring hit such a level of controversy that I heard it discussed on the Philip DeFranco show. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, what the fuck is happening right now? I, Why I is want this to, a topic? I'm, I want to just thoroughly kill, put the nail in the coffin on the multiplayer aspect of it. I know it's yeah. more, there's more to it than that, but the multiplayer side of things is not literally not an obstacle. The problem's already been solved. Uh, yeah. It's not a thing... Some people get the impression like, oh, you can't pause while you're connected to the server. Yes, you can. Yes, like, you everything, can. <laughs> everything outside of direct multiplayer, if there's not someone else in your game, you know, just disable pause while someone else is present, like they already do for the quit button, right? Like they take away quit. Yep. Uh, when that's literally off you do for pause. All the other multiplayer stuff, it's fine. Like literally, even if you don't mod the original Demon Souls or Dark Souls one, but you just added a pause button, like it? it would not break the multiplayer. Like, Folly it, it at the lake. It's fine. It was <laughs> deeply to surreal kicked. to be. It was deeply surreal to be driving to the mall and hearing like, "Can Biden legally oh, commit murder was... now?" And then it was like, "Should Elden Ring have a pause button?" Like, what the fuck's <laughs> happening? Why are these stories next to each other? <laughs> yeah, like El Elden Ring having a pause button is fine because you can also pause the game, even in single player, by just opening up the map and then pressing help. And it yeah. puts you in pause. Like, the game has a pause function, and that doesn't break the design. I do think opening up your inventory shouldn't pause the game, but that's no, no, that's that that's yeah, for yeah. a mechanical reason, which is that you yeah. want to be able to hard swap equipment. Um, yeah. But, like, I don't know. Like, when, I, when people talk about Souls game difficulty, I'm not against easy Souls games. Like, using, using the example, Another Crab's Treasure looks like a great game. 
I'm not going to play with the god mode on it because I think it probably just kind of ruins the design of the game from like a combat perspective. But like the the ease of the overall game does not make it a worse game. Like it's it's designed for that. For my Patreon thing, I'm sad. Uh, I plan on playing it sometime soon. But like, you know, or like uh, Lies of P is not a good Souls-like because it's hard. Lies of P is a good Souls-like because it's relatively well designed, which is rare in this genre of games. So when I when I talk about... Lies of about, P could, could use another patch. Lies of P could desperately use another patch. This is true. Um, but Right now, its difficulty curve is so weird because it peaks at the Puppet Master halfway through the game, and that's the hardest boss in the game. Yeah. And it never gets that hard again. It's so weird. Yeah, the, where are we going? Yeah, where are we going? We're looking for Latena, who is in a cave. They, they I nerfed think the game asymmetrically. I think she's somewhere, and that's Southwest the from the grace possibly. Um, yeah, I always I always get tripped up on this one. Yeah, um, I can't remember exactly where she is, but she's around here somewhere. Um, yeah, but I yeah, know we come out like on the other side. But uh... when it comes to Souls game difficulty, I. Like, when people are like, these games are good because they give you the f experience of triumph after great struggle. I'm like, actually, no, they're good because they're really well designed and, like, all of their design elements do stuff. And, like, that is part of the reason why people feel that struggle so effectively and feel like they can overcome it. Yeah. It's because the design is really arguing, solid. I've been arguing since the first game that the difficulty was never the point. Yeah. And, like, don't get me wrong. It is, you know, it is what it is when it comes to, like, all the various elements that... that um, that go into making a difficult game and like making design punishing so that you're forced to engage with it. Like I think difficulty is an aspect of that, but I don't think you need a game to be brutally difficult to enforce design. I think you just need to be really well designed to do that. And that's something that the Souls games do really well. So when people are like, I think that they should have an easy mode and it should just like make enemy stats less. I want to be like, this is so fundamentally against the design principles of this game that and adding this to the game would fundamentally change their shape and their shape isn't the problem here <laughs> like that isn't the issue on display when people complain about this even when they think it is but and, if it's just an option that's making a worse game for not you why the, do you care the thing is is that it does make a worse game for me because it's, it's never as people, simple as just designing the game as it is and then adding a checklist that lowers numbers because the but game is they just did that at the end. If what they, if they just slapped on a shitty easy mode at the end and it didn't affect you. Then it's whatever. I think that there's value in having an experience that is that is uniform in its approach because it forces a certain style of play among the community. Um, and I think that that can be valuable. A, a slapdash easy mode is so cursed. Yes. <laughs> I think that is more of a curse than people realize. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if anyone ever experienced Fury. Mm -hmm. A game that was designed to be played in an extremely specific, razor sharp way with exactly these health margins and exactly these boss phases yeah. that happen in this order and so on. And then, yeah. as if they were mandated by a publisher or something, they were like, they put in an easy mode that you unlock. I think if you die a few too many times or something, you'll mm -hmm. like prompt you oh, to, to do mode. easy mode. Yep. And the easy mode is one of the worst made things I've ever seen. Because easy mode just takes like the three easiest phases of the fight and runs them back to back with ever with like fewer health points and so on and the problem is that that leads to the game being this cakewalk where you blitz through every fight in seconds for a while until you reach the first boss where none of the phases are quite easy enough so the ones they they, they put in the easy mode are still like a massive astronomical difficulty spike compared to everything you've seen so far yep. And nothing has prepared you for even being able to interact with what the game's giving yes, you right now. Yes, exactly. Like Fury had one of the worst made easy modes I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's the argument against why you would, like, even separate from the discussion of whether or not easy modes should be in games, it's just like, no, you need to actually put work make a You have modes. to make you an easy just, mode. Yeah. You can't just throw something together. That's entirely my argument why? here, is that you design an easy mode but it's very hard to design an easy mode when you're already designing a game separate from that. And it isn't like, it's not as simple as like my ideal of an easy mode in a souls game is like fully bespoke enemy layouts that are less stressful. Finally fucking found it. Good to think fuck. Okay. <laughs> sit at the bonfire so that we can all warp there. <laughs> Cause I'm <laughs> lost as Christ. fuck. 
you guys it, was, it was just it, it was i thought it was more secure the, the fucked up part is like i kind of knew where the exit was and i thought it was more circuitous than like it actually is like, yeah it's closer okay i'm resting at the i'm unlocking the side of grace now okay oh, lakeside crystal cave where are you there we go but yeah like when i when i think of this stuff like my issue is never like they made souls easier because I think these games are easy. Even with sweet item arteria leaf in a chest, it's <laughs> purple. God damn it! Even they literally put a green sparkle inside of a sparkling chest. They hyped it up that much, and it was an arteria leaf. <laughs> Even being the person who you know. It died 114 times to the final boss of the DLC, and I think it's like the hardest boss I've ever fought in a video game. Like, I think these games give you tools and uh, are like a really interestingly uniform experience. Because even though what is going to be hard for me is going to be different for someone else, I can still say whatever made something easy for someone else was or hard for me was present in the fight by design, right? And I think introducing scaling easy mode and stuff like that in a game really messes with that and also very much dilutes the discourse around the game and makes the discourse around it even worse. So like, I don't know. I feel like I feel like the topic of an easy mode in a Souls game is very complicated and not not as simple or even as accessibility minded as it is, as people claim it is, because it's really not. Um and it's like it's a question I, of should a thing be allowed to exist if it is not for everyone? And I think the answer to yes. that is overwhelmingly yes. It's it's always yes. What do you mean? Not everything is for everyone. Get the fuck well, over yourself. I think I don't wrong think people you? are saying this this shouldn't exist. I don't think people are saying, hey, it would make it even better if it could appeal to more. Yeah, but I just, just I make would an argue you, file you can configure a dilemma like, why that is this... from software's inviting because they're yeah. obviously trying to appeal to a wider audience. Yes. Like this game is the open world souls game with like five hundred damage mitigation <clears throat> challenge mitigating features and like way yeah. more like but all of them have been that mechanics and so on you know like not necessarily open world in the way that this is but like they're they're very consciously adding tools to a player's toolkit to play with from a design perspective which allows that so it's the thing that i'm saying here isn't that like i think that there is an inherent fallacy in saying wouldn't it be better if it was available for everyone by adding and changing a bunch of things that make it good for the people it is good for that's you can argue the same thing. Wouldn't it be, be even better for the people that it currently is good for if it didn't change? Like, that's my argument there, is that I don't oh, think there's an inherent they, value. The people it's already good for can just not change the, the difficulty. No, sure. But what I'm saying is adding a difficulty changes how this game is designed so it isn't as simple as just not playing with the difficulty mode turned on. Like, that's the issue. It have to be. Yeah, it could be a shitty I, one. I just, it could be a number change. Sure, but I, then I it changes the, the rest of the design and the rest of the discourse around the game. It changes the community, which is it, one it of the. It changes the discourse, but I don't care about the discourse. Sure, yeah, I, 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 I can tell that. you about that. No, you can you can not care about it either. But what I'm saying is, you're not caring about that is no more valuable than someone else is caring about it. Okay. That's what I'm well, saying. We, but we can settle on the point that that is the main thing that is being changed, is the discourse I, and I, how the community understands the game. No, I, I yes, my, partially. I think my whole framing of the angle is that it's a little superficial to worry about like having an option at the start of the menu being called easy mode. Like I know yeah. that's what some people would want. And I want those people to have options to feel empowered to say, because again, it, it, like if, if shit sucks, hit the bricks. Like that's yeah. like my mind. It's always my approach to these games. Uh, you know, like, oh, Capper Demon fight is annoying. You can just straight up say, no, I don't want to be staggered at the start of the fight. And you can do that. Like, there's yeah. a bunch of tools and, and options. So it's sort of just like, what can they put in game without having to put a separate option at the boot start of the yeah? You know, like in the, with the very idea of games that have that difficulties you... for that other for that reason. Yeah. Similarly, where it's like every time I'm, I launch a game and it does like the Wolfenstein thing where there's seven difficulties, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. which one's the real game? Yeah, yeah. Because it's not even clear what a normal one is, and even half the time that so the games have a normal mode, they're like, but hard mode's the real one. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. Even the description will say hard is the real one. I'm like, then why'd you call it not normal? <laughs> and 
I think it, it, you have to like spend a half an hour on Reddit trying to read opinions about what the real game is because you can't tell what difficulty to play for the intended experience. Yeah, can I like, just? It does get sorry, frustrating it, its own way. Why? Just I, I feel the solution here again. Just make an accessible way that you can edit the settings for enemies yep. or whatever, like and I'm, then it's up to you. You get yeah. to choose if you want an easy mode, and it's yeah, accessible like for everyone who can type on a fucking keyboard, which you needed to do to buy but the game again. <laughs> like game just, says it, and I think that's a good way. yeah. I mean, I think the pathologic difficulty mode sliders is interesting, but it also means that you can increase the difficulty, and no one talks about that. But if someone were to beat Pathologic 2 at 200% well, difficulty, people aren't going to, you're not going to claim that that's like, that's how the game was designed. It's not. It was clearly there. You know what I'm saying? So like, the, that was an yeah. afterthought that was added. And it's an okay band-aid, but it's not, it's not literally indicative of like what the design of the game is. And more I, and more, I think as we push towards simple difficulty modes, we, we also are just like not teaching people how to engage with a game because we're over, I guess, like over designing for the numbers rather than over designing for the strategy. And like people already overstate how execution heavy these games are when they really aren't that execution heavy, especially Elden Ring. So it's like, it's one of those especially things. Especially not uh, parry the boss 30 times or you die. No, that, I mean, that's a, cr <laughs> no one is saying that the end fight there isn't crazy, but there are other things you can do there. People, there are already meta tank builds for that final boss. So there's like, there's other aspects that you can lean on that like mitigate your execution in favor of a long form strategy. But people would prefer to and would often lean on this idea of like, I'll just turn the difficulty down, which is also a very philosophical design difference. <laughs> like that's a huge difference. And that not being something you need to worry about with this game is an interesting aspect of its design because it speaks to its philosophy. The whole thing is designed this way to point towards that. So that's what I'm saying. It's not as simple as just changing something in a void because you're changing the meaning of the experience and the game when you change those things. Even if it only affects a small amount of people that are opting into it, you are still changing the shape of the thing. And what people also, like is the shape of the thing. Easy mode but, is talking to people online and getting ideas for uh, different builds and strategies and learning about the enemy weaknesses. I've always felt that way about them. I, and I know I, that's not yeah. as satisfying as having to think and go change in the game, but yeah. I do feel like that's like that's I, sort of the intended experience. Is I was going to say, using a Wikipedia is immediately cheating. Like, it just it, you're just cheating. You're doing easy mode. If you look anything up online, it's over. You've already, you've already done the baby mode. You got to go in raw and not know a single thing, or else. <laughs> we get this like, more. We're gonna get fix the aesthetic of this dialogue here. Yeah. Hey, girl, you want a friendship necklace? Foul tarnished. What do you want? I told the old hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I have no huh. choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena, an Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all hearing brute, I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Haley. My wolf, wolf. <laughs> yeah, my wolf, wolf. <laughs> I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the Forbidden Lands, north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the Giants, accessible by the Grand Lift of Rold. All right. Uh, then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the Tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Cool. He looks like Death Wolf. Disappear so that I can get cool. your spirit ashes. I want to test something immediately. 
Not only is the not only is he the dead wolf, but he looks like Death Wolf specifically. Do you want to test if one of us summons wolves? And the yes, if we can summon Latena and if she'll get on it. I want to know if the go the ghost wolves have this interaction coded. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I do think I do think that these games can you know there can be changes to them. That's not the the major concern. It's more, I just feel like people. Like a lot of the argumentation happening around this comes from a place of like very much not wanting to interact with them. And I find that weird because people want to interact with the parts they want to interact with. But one of the, the biggest aspects of these games is like how holistically designed they are. And it's a little bit to me like seeing a really nice, <laughs> beautiful glass wine wine glass and being like, wow, the shape of this is amazing. It's so unique. It's made by a master craftsman. It holds exactly the amount of wine that is that like is scientifically useful. Maybe I want more wine, but I can refill this glass if I want it. And then having someone come in and be like, well, it would be safer for babies if it was made of plastic. And it's like, okay, but what if like, I like the glass? <laughs> what if the glass looks cool? <laughs> You know, but like them getting a different glass doesn't take your glass away. It's no, still there. no. But in this case, it is like gluing another glass to my nice glass. You can ignore it. Yeah, that's difficult. <laughs> that's difficult to do because now when I sit, when I look at my beautifully designed glass, it's I have to... my pride. No, I, my glass pride. It is shattered. This, me this metaphor is a little biased. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not hurting my pride. It's great. I want. I wanted one really nice one glass. Now I have to buy the two pack. Why do I have to buy the it's two still pack? It's costing you the same. Yeah, but that's fine. What if I don't want the two pack? The 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 inherent principle of it, the inherent <laughs> principle of the wastefulness of the two pack does affect <laughs> the rest of the purchase. You're like, acting like it's a zero sum here. Like making an easy mode is taking away from the regular mode. And I don't think that's the case. The way that people argue about it it would. That's the other thing about this. But also, we agree. we talk about the discourse of it not being a big thing, but these are community games made for a community that foster a community. So changing how that community interacts with the game fundamentally shapes, changes the shape of the game. We already but have I, people that like, and I, I'm saying this full stop, the people who are like 1v1, solo me, get good, like those people suck too and I want them gone as well. But I want us all to be playing the same game. <laughs> That's the point. That's part of the experience. Even if it's harder for some than others. Even if it's easier for some than others. There's value in that. Either, That's not going to get you out of this conversation, Keith. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where are powers. we going? Yeah, well, the, so the, la the next thing we can do is talk to Ronnie. Or we could try to go up through Bellum. Uh and go towards the Grand Lift. Um, I'm trying to think of what other things we have to do. I think yeah, we, the, we didn't go to that um, building up around the one that you were talking about, uh, like wrapping around, uh, go up Bellum and then head east. Yeah, we can uh, do that. Do we turn. Yeah, I hate difficulty mission. I hate difficulty modes simply because you don't know what to pick when you start the game up. For the same reason as like. Like asking the player who has not played your game yet what difficulty mode they should play before they've played it, yeah. is the same thing as like asking them what class they should play in a universe they've never set foot in, and yeah. they don't understand any of the fiction or the mechanics of the, what they're about to play through. So like, I don't know, man, rogue. I'm feeling rogue today. Let's see how that works. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, what the I fuck. agree. That's so, why I like the presentation of just not having so a selection only, up front, just having yeah. that granular it can tools just be in very the frustrating. That that's but that's where I sit too, because we do agree on that point, Kyle. Like if you're gonna do it, put it in a menu in the options, like mm -hmm. at when you start the title screen, just like Pathologic does, and then that's fine, it's whatever. Have it be very separate from the rest of the game's design, because the games are designed this way. I'm not yeah, advocating fine. against that. I'm advocating against the idea of like there should be there should be a t traditional difficulty mode the way that we see it in a video game and it should be designed like this and the easy like mode see on console games yes in the 90s. yes exactly yeah, Mega Man Mega, Mega Man Two easy and normal mode yeah because that is a very different experience and like that also and I agree I think about this with hard modes too is like hard modes in games fucking suck 
JRPG yeah, hard just, modes are often, awful. They're, they're often terrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And on. like that that isn't just because people don't design good hard modes. It's that when you design your difficulty around sliders and around numbers like this, you only have a few levers to pull. And at that point, when you put that choice up front, you are signposting about what the game is. And that's really, really caustic to the rest of the design. And that and that's where I'm that's where I find this conversation to be very irritating when people bring it up. Yeah. Especially people who like don't like Souls games and have a weird preconceived notion of them where they're like, those games are too hard. How do you know they're too hard? Well, I've never played them because they're so hard. It's like, well, do you really know how hard they are then? Or are you just scared? Like maybe you could play the game and experience the feeling of just overcoming it. Like that's part of the process. Well, because they think it's hard. Because people keep telling them it's hard. Because everyone yeah. calls it the hard game. It's just like it. it I mean, yeah, it's hard because like no one it plays it. it. That way. A lot of people who like well, it sell it that way. And I think yeah. that's, I think I've, I've always, that is why I haven't touched one of these games until now. Yeah, I've always what, they're lying. It's the a fucking I, pride booster. It's not if, that hard. If you, if you want to hear my pitch <laughs> on skulls, is hard. that I love. <laughs> they're pretty no, hard. they're not. I don't know why we're. <laughs> They're, so, they're versatile. <laughs> they are literally versatile they're vers games that you can versatile. you can I'd make say, this yeah. as easy and difficult as you want. The only reason it's difficult is because God for fucking bid you have to do anything that's not point like pointed at you with a finger, a crusty old finger. Press the button to win. Like no, like goddamn, it's fine. Just read, read a fucking item description. <laughs> like, <God. laughs> I mean, I think I think that's fair, and I think that these games can be obtuse, and I'm I'm all for increasing their accessibility in that regard, right? Like signposting that you click an item, you you click a button to hit an item description, or like giving you the modifiers for what the scaling is. Like I hate the letter grade system; it's so irritating. Do I think? Yeah, it, do I do I, too. Do I think it's functional? Yes. Have I ever been confused about scaling when I'm trying to upgrade a weapon and just pick what I want for my build? No. Do I think that it should just tell me exactly what my damage calculation is going to be? Yeah. yeah. Like, that would be yeah. great. I've um, been confused because I look between two and it says A and A, but one is blue. One's blue. One is, one one is blue. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. I watched a 20 minute video about this and I still can't confidently say anything. Yeah, there's a whole but you know what? The, I still. It. I still consider the game easy. So sacred like tier. come on, man. Like I think my, there's my no excuse. With that, I think get that your sacred tier. I'm in a uh, oh. I'm at the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds because I thought that's where we were going. Are we not going there? Uh, four of us are in East Lucaria. East oh, yeah, Lucaria. The, the yeah, Bellum Highway. Oh, okay. I'll I'll go there then. That's fine. I think everyone walked past the sacred tier at the church. Yeah, probably. Oh the, yeah, because the, the temple wasn't the thing wasn't even lit yet. But yeah, I don't know. It, my my point ultimately isn't like yeah. you you can't make this game easier because I'm all for making these games easier. That's totally fine by me. It's this bespoke aspect of like viewing the game as a at like like from this perspective of like difficulty modes and ha like not looking at its whole design. And I'm also saying this about people who claim that this game is like this is a hard game. The true way to play is 1v1, no ashes, dodge only, no armor. Fuck, like fuck all you're that, like you're dude. a fucking idiot. You're not playing the game. The game There's a merchant past the church too. Yes, there's a merchant. Well, you're doing here. a you're, you're just doing a specific run. Yeah, you're doing That's a challenge you're doing. run. You're just, and it's yeah, you're doing a it's, challenge run. It's, it's beautiful <laughs> that the game exists like that. But when you see people, this is a big issue that I've had is like people critiquing you know, like the Pokemon game. Pokemon and Nuzlocke. Yeah. Like. Yeah, exactly. It's like seeing people cr <laughs> critique the game from the perspective of like, well, this boss is really hard to no hit. So this boss is poorly designed. It's like, or there's a million other tools for you to use and critiquing them on the basis of just like half the tools when the entire point of their design is that they use other tools is like maybe a little bit foolish. And that's where I think a lot of this this like discourse comes from, and I wish that discourse would change as well. The, the I don't get it. I, Why did this skeleton give me a holy I mean, mace before it died? This is stupid. What a dumb I, fucking weapon. <laughs> like, the way I would frame the difficulty in these games, just for, like to an outsider who's heard about like all of the difficulty of them, is that like I am overwhelmed and like unhappy playing Smash Brothers. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't know how to convey. Like, it's so funny that these games have like such a reputation for being like this really like. This is how I feel. Putting thing, but I'm just like, oh my god, there's like so many games that are supposedly like really popular amongst quote unquote like casual gamers that are just like 
they're way too much for me. Yet yeah, I love these games. So yeah. <laughs> there's like, you know, it's just a different pacing and vibe. Yeah, that these two. That's not maybe not for everyone, but. Um, I mean, the yeah, example the idea that they're approached as these super hard things. It's like, oh, my God, like any fighting game is just like a million times harder than. than yeah, the, I, think, I mean, like, the that's, example that's that I, I use is like is first person shooters, right? Like I oh, very I very like, firmly believe the average thing that you are asked to do in Overwatch is harder than anything I am asked to do in most other types of video games. There are so few video games where I need to pay attention to all of my team's cooldowns and see where they all are and ping other enemies and and move myself in a three-dimensional space with no lock on while also aiming at enemies in order to like land headshots while they're moving like none of that that is an executionally crazy thing and you do not see people complaining that like these things don't have an easy mode <laughs> like you know what i mean right, or like right, right, or like right. you don't see people being like what Overwatch is like the hardest game ever, right? People will say oh, online that, games are hard. I, I, I was making a video I basically called that. I, yeah, I, I don't think it's fair like to that. compare a PvE to a PvP experience. But that's the thing, though, is that I think that also, these games Overwatch are both of those things. Mode stuff. It does. Moira. And no one, yeah, exactly. But that's what I'm saying <laughs> is that you have different <laughs> toolkits to use, and it teaches you how to interface with the game. So that's the kind of design that I'm, I'm talking about, like enforcing is this idea of like, why don't you create a system where there are lots of different toolkits that you can use and you can learn the game through the toolkits and slowly expand your understanding and your skill. Because at the end of the day, your skill is what determines how well you do in this game. And people are like, well, yeah, but I want to play as X. And it's like, okay, but like you're opting into a toolkit oh. that you're either not enjoying or don't like or aren't good at, and you don't understand the fundamentals. I oh, got run over. And like I think Smash Bros is a really good example of that too, because like competitive Smash and like the way that the Smash combat system is designed is very different than the way people play that game. And like actually playing Smash as it's designed is extraordinarily difficult and complex. Yeah, I real I really like Smash. I never want to learn it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want Smash that. is great. I don't I want, want more that subspace version of Smash. Necessary. That was the best part. I just think it's a fun little fun little game to poke at. Back when nope, people you were gotta do no items. I couldn't learn the game for pro, real. All my horse is broken. Pro map. Play it like professionals. Time to put it down. Professionals don't even use the like the Omega maps or anything. They they stage they counter picking is really important for Smash. Nah. You it's use Omega. You use Final Destination. But Final Destination really favors certain matchups and is very, very, very situationally disadvantaged. Smash has a very rich counterpicking meta. It's very cool. What? No, that sounds like a skill issue. I, no, Final it's not. Final works for every character unless you're bad it, at the it game. It doesn't because some characters are vastly advantaged by flat stages and others are not. Like others want platforms. Your favorite character, Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> Little why, Mag. Why are you playing... Little Mac actually likes platforms. likes platforms a lot. Isn't actually, your favorite character bad on Final Destination, Andrew? No, I'm on a cart that runs people over. <laughs> like flat yeah, but planes they have three are perfect. Platforms. <laughs> huh? Oh, that is fine. Platforms are great because then you can convince people to jump off and then get hit by a cannonball. My character is perfect <laughs> in every type of field. I know how to play it in every type of field. The problem is that people don't care. People just are used to playing characters and. Not thinking about it beyond that. What is this horse doing? Hello? Yeah, this man's go. horse is loose. Yeah, I parried him off of his horse, so his horse I, fell off. I do enjoy when the horses just wander around after the other <laughs> What is this <laughs> horse doing? <laughs> I had a great one in uh, the DLC. I wish my horse wandered back to me. There's that one dragon fight where it's like up against, uh, you know, going yeah, like to battle with like a whole crew of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I got someone into a co-op session where the only thing that was surviving was one of the horses somehow, and it kept like... <laughs> It has no attacks, but its AI was like treating the dragon as an enemy. So it would, it would often just like walk towards the dragon and just stand there. And it was like, no, get away, horse. What are you doing? Do we want to do the frenzied flame stuff up here? Let's do it. Sure. Okay. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I probably have some stuff in this encampment I didn't grab. So before we move on, I just want to I summarize. Just, I, just to, I just have to get there on foot. Uh, Latena, uh, Latena is an Albanoric. She was a member of their warrior caste. They have a warrior caste of all women, 
archers that ride wolves and horses and other animals. Uh, technically, there are aggressive. there are other there are men that also can do this. I think, but um, very associated with women, um, at least as far as the ones that we meet in the game. Um, and she is looking for a way to get to the Albanoric city in the north, and she claims that it is Mikola's haven. So Mikola created a city in the north for Albanorix. Oh. So that is the little storyline that happened there. So there's a bunch of, like, Glenstone consumables that use F key. Yes. Those are in in scaling, I assume. Uh, I think so. Or are they flat? Uh, I don't know. I assume that I, they would scale hmm. with int, but I'm not yeah. sure. I'm being, I, I'm I like being never really, I've like never spawn. really used those much. So uh, I'm not sure. I use them for for killing invisible scarabs. They're really good they, at that. <laughs> they are in scaling. I just checked. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if there's any face good. scaling equivalents. Uh, there are. Um, because I believe the the horn scent items in the DLC that do similar things scale off faith. How am I getting hit by badness? Who is maddening me? The, tow the giant the flaming eye in the, in the sky at the tower. Wait, did someone already kill all the rats here? I'm, I'm, I'm luring them around as I avoid madness. They're all coming. Oh, cool. Get up the ladder. <laughs> Chad asks what's going on with the Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough, and this uh, Toaster and I didn't have time Dead. to record anything with each other for like four months straight. Yeah. I, I love. So we're just now getting back to trying to wrap up the password playthrough because we yep. have two things to juggle at once, and it's just oh. too much to deal with. So the Baldur's Gate. I, 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 recognize the, I recognize the irony of hearing me say that while we're playing dozens of hours of Elden Ring. <laughs> well, so the thing is, is that Baldur's Gate three kind of has to happen while I'm at work because I can't stream it because we're eighty hours into a playthrough, so I can't stream Baldur's Gate three. Uh, while we play it. So it has to happen while I have time off at work and work is too busy. So I have not had an opportunity to record it. But also an even bigger issue with Baldur's Gate 3 right now is that 95% uh, of the time I start the game, I have to quit the game four times before I can fucking start it again because the game is super buggy and I keep loading in without my UI or my character or able to interact with anything. Because co-op is super buggy, so yeah. yeah I that's, was gonna ask. They haven't fixed that yet. Have they, they have not fixed that yet. So, um, so our playthrough was just kind of screwed over because, uh, like every single time we go to play, I'll have like two hours to play Baldur's Gate three, and I spend the first forty-five minutes of that having to troubleshoot the game and get it fucking launched so that we can play it. Now, have you tested if it does that for you in single player? If it's your install, your save file? It is not my save file. It is, well, it is my save file, I think. But the thing is, is I don't have a single player save file. So I can't, gotcha. like, w my character is on Keith's account. Yeah. So I, there's nothing I can do. I, like, I can't do it on my end. But it has to do with how the game loads you in, specifically once you reach the lower city. Uh, it is a known bug on the Larian forums, yep. and they just have not fixed it. Game of the year, but also frequently completely unplayable. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's a great game. Hope they fixed that before their last patch. Yeah, me too. Uh -huh. I sure hope they finish the game. And if if we do end up, like, if they do end up fixing it, or even if they don't, like, once we're done with Password, like, I'll be able to dedicate weekends to Baldur's Gate 3. It's just we I have to pick one right now because we can only record eight hours of a game yeah, once per weekend. The viewership, the viewership is and astronomically higher for Password than Baldur's Gate 3. Toaster's going to pick his favorite, obviously. No, I just <laughs> want Password to be over. Like Baldur's Gate 3 doesn't even hit a thousand views, whereas Password is such a popular series that yeah. I literally just like lose a few hundred dollars on Patreon if we don't have new videos of it. Yeah. And like... Oh. I mean, I don't, I, in as much as it's like a faux pas to make everything about money, like, just the reality of this is Keith doesn't pay me, and I don't get anything from doing videos on his channel. So when, if I can't, like, stop my streaming to just do stuff that only airs on Keith's channel, you know? So it's just like... If you chose to be born under capitalism. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it is the way it Early is, Early right? on, I thought, like, this is probably a bad idea. 
And it's continued. I've continued <laughs> to think that it was a bad idea I mean, to try to juggle two playthroughs. It wouldn't have been so bad if I mean, I, I one if both the games we played weren't fucking terrible, and work my work <laughs> life balance wasn't also terrible. Like this wouldn't be so much of an issue if we were playing Funger and I don't know uh, Wanted Dead right now. Like it would not be it, at least we could fucking do it. Like it, it's fine. It's an eight hour game, right? Like that's not a problem. The problem is that Baldur's Gate 3 is a 150-hour-long game, and Password is a 900-hour-long game. So we can't, I can't do both of them when oh. both of the experiences recording it is a major two of the nightmare. Playthroughs we've ever done, fresh off the back of Archers being like a brisk 14 episodes, yeah. <laughs> like oh yeah. I don't know. There's there's a lot to say about that stuff, but it's it is what it is. And I we'll get there back to Baldur's Gate when I can. Up here on the wall. <gasps> Where can I have it? Oh, Remember, very early on, I was like, I should not co-op this game. <laughs> I mean, I think the co-oping Baldur's Gate has been a fun experience, and it's been interesting yeah. to play it this way. Well, it's just, I just probably I just, a better immediate. experience. So. I just. I just knew up front it was going to probably become a problem. And it's been, now it's been a problem for long enough that I'm now voting. We're now doing, we just started the vote for the second Patreon game after Baldur's Gate. (laughs) Yeah. Because we, because I already did, uh, he's fucking rats, uh, guys. For six, three months ago. He's fucking rats, guys. You want us to kill rats? There's just a lot of them, and I have a dagger, so it's a little bit tough. I can't crit the rats. In this fucking flower. Where do you have the rats say? Chill Where out. Do you <laughs> and I think we're gonna have an invasion up here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, if we go back up the hill. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, Lord Vike, it seems that you were no lord after all. Then where is he, our true lord, our lord of frenzied flame? We beg of you, incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. May chaos take the world. Can you parry Vike? Probably. They, they, do, they do not have pauses between the pulses of of uh, spores. Come on, Vike. Vike is interesting. He was a member of the round table hold. Oh, here he is. And he was grabbed by the fingers. Oh, he left immediately. Hmm. Oh, it could be a couple things. It could be because uh, one of us was too far from the spawn location, so it was thinking like, "Oh, he, he left the PvP arena, so I'm gonna despawn." Mm-hmm. So we might ha- you might have to pick us out and then pull us back in, uh, like right here. Okay. Let's do that. Because like, Keith, Keith was further down the hill, so I think that might that might have been the reason oh, for that. It's right here. Well, I have to lie. I have to do like a bonfire or something so that it respawns him. Yeah. In the middle of grabbing everything. But yeah, starting any really long playthrough in in, a, in multiplayer is always a little scary for the same reason that as starting any long D and D campaign is, which is that like by the time you finish one story arc, it's like everyone's in a different place in their lives and are different people now, <laughs> and a year has passed. Yeah. And you're like, is this still sustainable wherever people wherever people are? All right, I'm gonna go out to the area that Vike spawns at and pray that he spawns. I can still ride Torrent, so I'm worried we just missed Vike's spawn entirely. No, we got him. Okay. Right, and I, I can't, I can't, we open, got I can't open my world, so we're gonna have to fight Vike no. on our own. Oh god, that's a long. Walk. Yeah, that's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> I'm just gonna run past everything. That's why I was. That's what I was trying to. I was like, oh, oh he killed me. He the... killed me, so I can spawn you into my world. And then we can Hell sit yeah. at the grace, and then you can go back to your world and teleport to the grace. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's why I was like, "Oh God, oh fuck!" Because I was like, I was one inch from getting the grace <laughs> when I got kicked out. I'm like, "No, please!" Hurry up! Cardinal Sinful <laughs> says, "Why doesn't Keith pay you? Is he broke? <laughs> How much money do you yes. think Keith makes? Jesus Christ!" Oh my God. My day job pays like four times as much Keith makes in a year. Like you need to realize that it is not something. It's that he, the doing let's my plays. This is my bedroom. Yeah, and I, don't, and I don't have time to go outside. Let's plays do you're, not you're pay. Right. 
Think about how how my quality struggle is being like, can I get all my videos to consistently hit 1K views, please? Yeah. And think, then think about how CPM is that uh, whenever people ask tell, ask how much you make from it doing YouTube, it's, it's usually like approximately like, oh, you get a dollar per thousand views. Yeah. It's not... So my goal every day <laughs> is to try to make each video make a dollar. Yeah. A video that inherently costs spends two it takes two hours to record and more time to render and upload and everything and you just try to make up with for that in bulk across the channel and your patreon and so on yeah it is not doing this is not and you, you don't you can't just pay I your would friends love to pay toaster because he would quit his job i would quit my job to do it if i was if i could pay him yeah a living wage if keith could could he'd be my little video bitch yeah i could do videos yeah. all day long and it would be great uh but that is that is unfeasible i have to have health insurance <laughs> like it's not it's not negotiable all right i'm gonna yeah. boot you all and then we can um do you guys oh. have the sight of grace have you guys sat yes. at it okay yes you just go south from here? Yep, you just exit, and then Vike will invade you when you go down the hill. I literally rent a room in somebody else's house where I only pay $740 a month in California. That's crazy. That's so cheap. <laughs> Which my my health insurance just spiked up to $450 a month, so that's a new budgeting concern. <laughs> Wait, where is that? Uh... I, that didn't unlock the grace when we went back to our Yeah, room. that did not. Oh, that, no. That, that did, time to run past everything. Sorry. Yeah, time to run past everything. What the? F yeah. Uh, wait, oh, Vike cannot be parried, I don't think. I think we didn't rest at it. I did. I, no, I, I definitely rested at it, for sure. No. God. Oh, no, and of course, I got shot off my horse. Ugh. I, I got madness, and I thought I died, in, but I didn't die, so I put my controller down, and then it just killed me. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Yeah. Oh, we're getting... Yeah, Madness feels like an instant kill. It does. It often isn't. It does less damage than I expect it to. It eats all your FP, though. Yeah, which is a bummer. What is the best... Yeah. What's the best teleport to get to to Com start this? Random people aggroing and disabling your map is so... Uh, Maza not going. Mausoleum Compound. Uh, Ruin? Bellum Church. Ugh. Bellum Church. Sorry. Bellum Church. Okay. Yeah, I've been sticking to it because it's better than any other jobs, really, as far as, like, I don't have to work those jobs. But, Money uh, is the only reason that makes This isn't really a paying totally field. Cool. Oof. I got madnessed. And then he killed me in one hit. I have low vig. It's hard to deal with this. So I need to run up the hill. Like, on top of not being a huge income i'm also like actively trying to con like make the jump to video essays because the channel that i put all this work into every day is on decline like it's yeah both wasn't it never made good money and is actively shrinking every year i'm just watching the boat sink because stephanie would also quit her job in an instant if i could replace it no one's happy <laughs> yeah a lot of the, in general anywhere. what people yeah. don't realize is that a lot of the times when like bigger youtubers made it it was either due through sheer numbers or because you would group up together so and create like a a video union essentially <laughs> yeah i don't act actually know where Vike was or where okay. I am. I have no idea. He's up the hill. He's yeah. at the church. He's, atta he's attacking me while I'm resting at the side of Grace. Hell yeah, that is wild. I ran past him to unlock the side of Grace in case I died to him. Um, it's so funny. Uh, yeah, you want to... Yeah, I can't... Pull so if you go to right Bellum here. Church, right, there's a, there's a big road. And if you look on the right side of the road, there's a hill. And there's a building on top of the hill. That's okay. where you want to go to. Yeah, I think yeah we the missed the Frenzy Flame thing. Village uh, Grace, too. Oh, I didn't even notice that. So I just picked that up. Yeah, I just ran through the Frenzy Flame Village. Church it wasn't Grace of North just... This is going to be a very difficult fight for me. Come get it, Vike. heal 
I was gonna see him at first. Oh! Howl of Shibri. No. Oh, why isn't it letting me backstab him? Oh, he's pissing me off. No! <laughs> He pisseth me off. Your math should not be able to shoot that far. Okay. Where is it? Vic, you loser ass bum. Get in here and fight. There you are. <laughs> Vic. Ow. Oh. Vic the dick. Yes, I will be an anthropomus promise we get. Oh, and my madness. No, nope. you've already oh. had your potion. You can't have another. Marty will also be there. No one else here will be there. Oh yes, Keith. Your job this weekend is to help uh, Marty brainstorm appearance ideas for Snapper. Oh, there we go. Character. I beat him. Yeah. I was like, what is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? All right, I beat Vike. It was easy. Me too. Yeah. He was. He was a sad little baby cool. boy. Ah. There we go. All right. My world is open for when we want to come oh, back into it. Okay. I'm going to go talk to Turtle Pope and learn some fires. Yeah, we do have a bunch of books to turn in as well. Was the sentence, I'm going to talk to Turtle Perp, Pope and learn some fires? Yeah. Oh, flame and surge, oh, flame. <laughs> I guess illusory must have loaded in because I just saw a piece of debris yep. just come flying out of the church <laughs> and rolling yep. down the hill at me. Yep. I'm like, what is me. this? Is this a boulder trap?